Guys, this is the 24 hour fishing survival challenge. My wife says she's been watching all of my videos and she can do survival better than me. So let's see, let's find out. Can we do minimal gear overnight fishing survival challenge with a girl? <laughs> find out. We are almost at our destination. We are going to do a minimal gear survival Overnight, 24 hours. Courtney's got our gear in a tarpaulin. <laughs> and we're gonna set up put here overnight. And we're gonna see if we can catch some fish using a few simple items and survive overnight in the infested bug mosquito crazy wilderness. Find out if we survive. All right, so for our challenge, we have a bunch of gear, not too much gear, kind of bare minimum you would expect to have if you were out in the woods camping, but uh, you just didn't have enough food to make it. It's a little scary. Scary, what? Okay, so we got two fishing rods for obvious reasons. We have fishing net. I have in here a bag of assorted lures, uh, flashlights, uh, sinkers, lures, etc., floats, that's fishing gear. We have uh, two dozen worms. Uh, we have our tarp as our shelter. What do you think about the mosquitoes? They're not horrible right now. <laughs> they will be after the sun sets. We have a pot with some wadobo spice. We have a friction fire set. Cordy's going to start a fire with <laughs> friction fire. Yeah. And we have some other assorted tarps. We don't have any sleeping bags. I got some little bit of cordage and we actually just in showing up here we found some other material so we can make use of this this is um looks like an old cord for a fish finder should we get to work let's do it all right so what's the first plan then i don't know <laughs> i just came along for the ride you're supposed to be leading this one. <laughs> oh, jeez all right we're going so down fast then. <laughs> shelter first maybe and then fire and then food okay and we'll try to catch some fish all right let's Sounds go good. That's half of it made here. We've got a fork here, two fork sticks there. We've got another one kind of partially dug in. The earth is too solid, too hard to actually dig down real deep. And then another one over here bracing it. So that's bracing it kind of left and right. It still could fall away. So we might add, all we have to do is add more forks in this direction here to solidify it. And then we can use a little bit of cordage here to knot that up. This is electrical wire here and on the inside it's always made up of bundles so there's actually two bundles mixed in a bunch of other ones so if I step on the rubber here I'll actually get a third bundle which is actually the rubber so I just have to separate this this is easier said than done <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. And then this stick under here will concentrate the pressure in the one point so the tarp can't escape. Enough for you. <laughs> Thank you for buying a new tarp as well. It's not new. I was noticing how dirty it was. It's not new. So kind. You get a new tarp for this. <laughs> All right, go hop in. See if you fit. Uh, this way. Yeah. Okay. Should be bug proof. Oh yeah. Oh, it's very cozy in here. <laughs> oh boy. Well, there's no bottom. Well, I, I think I liked the snow bottom better. Hope you brought some extra clothing. The bugs <laughs> are going to crawl up your shirt. I have one long sleeve shirt. So two people going to fit in there? Yes, we will cuddle all night. I don't know about that. <laughs> we have some garbage bags so you can make some blanketing. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Or a bottom. You I, can have a bottom oh, yeah. or a blanket, but you can't have both. One or the other. I can go in it. You could go in, in the bag. I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> It'd be kind of gross. Uh, 
Wow, Chris, you sure know how to show a lady a good time. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, so our shelter's done. And I gave it to Courtney if she wanted to make a fire first or if she wanted to wait for a bit. <clears throat> she said, well, we don't have anything to eat, so we don't need a fire yet. We have enough water. So the first fish is on me. You have to catch the rest. <laughs> don't laugh. Then we're eating one fish. What? <laughs> so this is what we're looking at. There's a little run here. And there's a pool. I have a funny feeling there's a bunch of fish in the pool. Oh, it's a friend ah, tonight. We can eat that. That's a bullfrog. Pay attention to where it is. We're going to go get it. Okay. Sure. It's a bullfrog legs. Fish jumping over there too. Did you hear that? I've seen two jump. You see where? Mm -hmm. Um, in the rocks, actually. Like one just at the edge. We're gonna get them. Oh, one right there. I heard that one. Yeah, I had to get the dragonfly. See where the dragonfly is? See? Oh, it jumped again. It's just a little guy. Dude! <laughs> what is that? It's gotta be a little bass. It had a white belly. Are you hungry? Not really. Not yet. I will be. When did you eat last? Last night. What time is it now? Two. So how many hours is that since you haven't eaten? I don't know what time I ate. Pretty late. Maybe 10 last night? Courtney wanted to go on the survival challenge because she wanted to know why are you taller than me? <laughs> There's that better. That's better. Aww. <laughs> um, yeah, Courtney wanted to go on this challenge because she wanted to know what it was like to do the wilderness living challenge. She thought she could be the survivalist better than me. No. <laughs> I just want to try for a day. One day? One day. How about five? No. And if we catch food I'm eating so I'm not really starving. How do you know we're gonna catch food? Because it's you. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I have faith. All right well I'm gonna cast in see if I can get some food. We're eating whatever we catch. Yes. What is it? <laughs> it's a fall fish. Oh. They're gross. That's disappointing. But we're eating it. You're going to eat it? You have to eat it. Uh, if it falls off you don't have to eat it. Oh, you have to eat it. Why'd you tell me it's gross? <laughs> it's not that gross. You should tell me it's amazing. It's gourmet. No, it's a big minnow. There, now you have to go make a fire. Super. <laughs> Next challenge. <laughs> Oh, might lose this guy. <laughs> He's barely hooked. Is he tastier? Uh, a little bit, marginally. That's a rock bass. It would still be considered a trash fish by a lot of people, but... Survival fishing! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> There's your thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Whole fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to eat like a ton. Oh, now you're now you're they're too picky now. <laughs> you're gonna eat just fish. You got to eat five pounds of it. Oh lord. To make up your calories for today. So uh, we're not quite there yet. I'm filming this with my eyes closed. I hope you're in frame. What is it? <laughs> you want to know what everyone is? Everyone! It's a small mouth. Oh, variety. The spice of life. There's a freshwater clam. Also called a bivalve. And uh, they're scattered all throughout here, but these are good for uh, bait. So if we didn't bring worms in, we could easily use these for bait. And you can eat them too.
Then you take your rock bass and you trade up for a catfish by using the head. That's what we're going to do tonight. Use the head, we'll trade up again with the catfish aren't biting right now, midday. All right, so I did all the work again. <laughs> That's why I keep you around. Ba -dum -bum. <laughs> All right, so now you're going to do some work. No. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good with watching and learning. Is a delicious bath? Mm. Yep, I see it. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat it like this. I appreciate that, and I look forward to eating it fully cooked. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Please show me how you do this. All right, I will. Okay. So what you do? Yep. Is you? No, don't tell me. Show me. You scrape the fins backwards, mm. and they take the scales off. Right. Okay. Yep. With the fork. Oh, that's why I'm holding a fork. <laughs> <laughs> it was a trick. There you go. Oh. Okay. What? Why oh, are you gonna do it? Okay, good. So hold it. Mm. You gotta touch the fish. Um, okay. Where? You, just like on the head? Use the fork and scrape the, fin, scrape the scales off. Well, see, I can probably do that without touching it. <laughs> your hand on it. God. Oh, you're not massaging it. you got to scrape. Harder. <laughs> you haven't taken... This is nasty. You haven't taken one scale off yet. By the oh, way. I got one. Huh? Huh? Can you see that from there? One. Thank you very much. How many are there? <laughs> this is how he gets out of doing dishes. You just pretend you don't know how, and then there you go. There, see? There, lift them off. Make sure you get them all off, because they don't taste good when you eat scales. I imagine not. You're doing a fabulous job. Thank you. You will be on fish duty next time. <laughs> I catch them, you clean them. Mm. She did her job. She scaled them. I did. I gutted them. How was it? Uh, I got used to it. <laughs> I got in the groove. Not so bad. Now you're actually touching the fish. Well, you made me. Not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can get used to it. <laughs> Bugs everywhere now. Bugs are amazing. All right, we gotta make a fire now. Gotta cook these up. Can eat them raw. Nope, not doing that. You could try. We did it in the winter, remember? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't raw. Well, practically. Mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, let's make a fire. Okay. I haven't told you this yet, but you're making the bojo fire. <laughs> so we're eating raw fish. All right, so I'm gonna get a set for you. I've already done a, a pre-burn, burnt in, the notch is ready to go. All Courtney has to do is the work. <laughs> That's all Courtney ever has to do. Okay, so here, grab it like I have it. Don't let it spin out. Okay. Now move your body where I am. Put your right foot on there, or left foot. Left foot. Put your right foot, kneel on your left. On the board? You on your right. And push this back further. Further. Further? I can't. I'm going to be doing the split. That's what you need to do. Okay. Okay. So grab this with your right hand. So Stay left, away from the left. groove. Okay. Left, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That one. Okay. Okay. Come now uh, come up. Hold this against your knee. Okay. Put this hand up closer, a little bit closer. But don't touch the there's metal in there for a groove. Okay. Okay, put this thumb over top, your finger over top. Yeah, and this. Wrap it just a little bit. Right there. And my thumb around the back now? No, lock in here and pull it tight against your knee. Okay. As hard as you can. Okay. Okay, now let go and grab this because you've got it in the groove. Okay. Grab your hand back further. Further. Okay, right there. Now keep pressure down and go. Longer strokes. Faster. Don't push down so much. Push the gate. Okay. I 
Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. Not at all. You got any smoke yet? I smell stuff. Okay, go fast, dude. You're polishing a little faster than that. You give up? Yeah. What? That's better. That's better. That's better. What an awful sound that is. You give up yet? Yeah, I give up. Who's the man? Really? <laughs> really? Well, if you don't admit it, then we don't get any fire. <sighs> you can be the man, I don't mind. No thanks. You want to be the man? I'll be the man. Alright, the groove's not quite deep enough. That was my problem all along. Oh, we have a fire on the top. <laughs> Delicious, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. These will make a nice side to our fish, but it's still all just lean protein. You can tell the other animals have been eating them too because they're actually been pulled apart and chewed apart all over here. Lots of dead ones up on shore because other animals do eat them, but they're a lot of work because they can't boil them. Once you boil them, they'll open up and then you get a nice little piece of meat inside. I'm gonna put my shoe back on. Did I catch you falling asleep because you're so hungry in your survival <laughs> challenge? It's just my regular afternoon nap. <laughs> you're silly not eating breakfast on a 24 hour survival challenge that starts at noon and ends at noon the next day. What? It started at 10 last night. I knew it was 36 hour. You know this is just like a regular work day if I don't eat. 
whatever. I you should it. eat on a regular work day. I know, but sometimes I'm busy and I don't. That's crazy. Crazy. Well, the fish looks good. Fish. I threw some clams in there. Yep. Fish them out. Clams will be the appetizer. It's gonna mm. be a two course meal. Oh my gosh. The third course will hopefully be a catfish after dark. Amazing. Do we get dessert out here? I saw a berry over there. One? One for me? Berry. Yeah, if you find it again, <laughs> I might have stepped on it. Huh. You can eat some um Daniel um what are those? The white flower ones. Daisies. Daisies. Yeah, eat the leaves. All right. don't have leaves. You mean the petals? Yeah. Here, I'll grab you one. You mean the leaves? There you go. Ah, uh, this is my dessert though. I have to save it. It's not sweet. That's just roughage. Keep you regular. <laughs> you can make a salad out of that with some strawberries. That's not so bad. Yeah. I think this is edible. Seriously? <laughs> Pretty sure it's edible. I think you can eat the petals too. You're the test subject. Tastes like roughage. <laughs> so once those clams open up, it is time to eat them. That means they're finished. Are they open? Yep. No way. They are open. You do want to cook these well because apparently there's parasites in them. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's any... It's really not funny. It's pretty funny. No. I don't know anybody who ever... Like, these are littered throughout our lakes. I don't know anybody who's ever eaten them. Like, we'd always... We would... As kids, we would catch them and then we would skip them across the lake because that was cool. Probably not good for them because they end up in deep, really deep water. I don't think they like to be in deep water, but that's what we did. Nobody told us not to. So it does look like a vagina. <laughs> I was thinking it. That doesn't look like a vagina to you. You need to go search on the internet what a vagina looks don't like. Don't tell people. Okay, don't type in vagina. Type in medical image of a vagina. That's fine. Everybody's got to know what they look like. So they got some... They're probably called labia, to be honest. Like, look, that doesn't look like a labia to you. It's actually the foot. So it, um, there's a little bit of anatomy here. They connect here and there. So if you want to open it without cooking it, what's your face doing over there? Uh. Ghosting out? Okay, so it connects in there and there. So if you stick your knife in there, you can actually pop them apart before they're cooked. But once they're cooked, obviously the meat uh, muscle can't hold it closed anymore. Anyway, and then it shoves its foot there to walk. Anyway, maybe that's too much to know. You can eat them. It's called a bivalve. I'm really not that hungry yet. Mmm. <laughs> For real? No. Oh, well. It tastes chewy. But it looks disgusting. Did you just say your anatomy looks disgusting? I'm being so girly on this trip. You did. <laughs> Just dive right in. <laughs> what? <sighs> you Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm gonna put at the bottom of the screen unintelligible. <laughs> It tastes fishy. Tastes a little fishy? Yeah. A lot chewy. I don't want to taste it. A lot fishy. A little fishy, a lot chewy. I'm trying not to taste it. <laughs> uh, I wasn't that hungry. <laughs> well, what? It's big, I haven't chewed it enough. She said. That's what you said. Yeah. I'm a she. No swallow doesn't count. 
Oh, why was there something crunchy? Piece of sand. Uh. All right, if you look at the fish this way, they're pretty good. There's a beaver down there making noise. You hear it? Really? Yeah. But if you look at this way, it got burnt. I got distracted and burnt my fish. All right, so these are the burnt ones. You get to eat them first. Okay. You want the least burnt one or the most burnt one? Yes. Uh, most. Oh. <laughs> That's the least burnt. Thank you. You're the one that didn't want them undercooked. I uh, I don't like things with faces though. You eat the eye. No thanks. Oh, you save it for last. Mm. So I did bring some adobo spice. Oh, that's excellent. But you gotta rough it up a little bit or it's not gonna stick. What do you mean? Well, like break the skin open. Oh. Tastes better than fallfish. To be honest, I would. I don't know why people don't eat rock bass. Like rock bass is fine. Fallfish yeah. don't eat a fallfish. Um. You really couldn't tell the difference between this and a trout. I mean, trout, well, you probably could tell the difference between a trout. Trout's awesome. <laughs> but it's overrated. There's a bone in there. But that's good, right? Yep. Delicious, thank you. Probably not uh, calories, days worth of calories in there, but it's something to eat. If we get desperate, we can eat all the spice. No calories in the spice. <laughs> Make us feel better though. I'm gonna spread these around just to attract other animals. Why? To eat them. Okay. I <sighs> forgot we're on a survival challenge. So Courtney won't eat the fish eyeball. That's where all the fat and brain is. You're either it. Yep, because the eyeball is in my mouth. Take a little jewel. Plus, there's all that fat at the top of the head there. And there's a fat pocket behind the eye, too, which I already sucked out. Good dinner? Yep. Need some more? Mm hmm. Two more. Where? Over here? Yep. That's fire. Something primal about eating like this, isn't there, Courtney? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like an animal yet? Not quite. Do you want to feel like an animal? <laughs> A lot of my viewers want to feel like an animal. They all want to go on trips. So I've taken all those fall fish, those minnows, and I've chunked them all up real good here. So this is going to be bait we're gonna do what's called trading up in survival I just invaded invented that term trading up is when you take a piece of old fish or small fish or fish you don't want and you trade out for a bigger fish so we're gonna do that right now what I've done here is I've added a trouble and a trouble that's double trouble and I'm just gonna hook it just lightly through the skin one time on the bottom and then once on the top and then we'll huck this out in the water and then a bigger fish, catfish, pike, or gigantic bass will come eat this. Ah, that's a big pike. Or here, anyway. It's 
So that's how you trade up. That, my friend, is a lot bigger than a fallfish. It's a gigantic pike. Ah. There you go. Uh, we're trying to decide what to do with the garbage bags for our uh, shelter. Um, I have an idea that we cut here and here, and then there's a bottom and a top, and then each of us can have two lengthwise, and then we can sort of pull it over ourselves. <laughs> oh yeah? I don't know how much good that's going to do, but you know. These aren't big garbage bags. No. They're probably half, 50% garbage bag. Jeez. I thought we had a full-size garbage bag. Um, what do you think about that idea? I don't know. You have to decide if you want to cover yourself with them or you want to lay on them. I don't think you're going to get both. Well, I it's... think if we had more surface area, if we cut here and here, then we could each decide what we want to do with it once <laughs> we're on it, slash under it, whatever we well, decide. Well, it's not going to be super cold tonight. I know, I but... Any blankets. Do you want to lay on this? That's not going to be very comfortable. Well, this isn't either. It's barely anything. So you won't put it on top then? We have duct tape mm. too. We do? Yeah, I just told you we had a little duct tape. Fantastic. Alright, so that's what we're doing? Yeah. I'm going to cut there? Yeah. Let's try it out. So Cordy still hasn't decided if it's a ground sheet or a blanket. We're going to figure it out though. Regardless, it's not going to be a comfortable sleep. Are you proud of your survival shelter? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if proud's quite the right word. It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll jump in, see if I fit. Okay. There. Oh, uh, I want my whole deal. <laughs> Oh, sun's in there. Yep. I want my tent. Oh, the mosquitoes in here, dude. Well, it's bound to happen. I want, I want my summer rest and my sleeping bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want my bed. Whose idea was this? What? It was Courtney's. <laughs> she thought she could do survival better than me. I don't think I was ever under that illusion. It's your fault. Mm-mm. Alright, we gotta catch some more fish. I'm hungry. Okie dokie. Are you hungry? No. I mean, yes, I need to eat to survive. Apparently napping while I'm catching pike doesn't require too many calories. That's what they do in the survival shows, you know? They take long naps. They just don't show it a lot on TV. It's <laughs> boring. Yeah, back to fishing. Okay. Little catfish. They're good eating though. Walk it over once you get it in. Oh boy. Is it a big one or a small one? I don't know. <laughs> uh. Courtney caught a catfish. <laughs> A small catfish. What do 
What'd you get? Cat. Oh. Big one. Yeah. That was something else. Getting bigger. Oh, a small one. You could eat though. Oh no. Get it. There you go. That's a better size yeah. one. Oh jeez. There we go. That's breakfast. Beauty. Hey, but that. Well done, Hans. Finally. It's the perfect size. Can you see them all? <laughs> you really need to put a shirt under there. Well, it's not really up against me. They're biting through. Oh, but it's not <sighs> up against my skin. I know it's they're so bad. There's no way we're sleeping in that thing tonight. <laughs> That's these it's survival. Chart. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Brutal. Oh boy, is it big? Mm. Huh? Not that big, but. Uh. Mm. Mm. Oh, big Where's your net? We got a few catfish. Nothing super big, but big enough for breakfast. Mosquitoes are still bad. I don't even want to go to bed like this. Because I know it's going to get eaten alive. Oh. Courtney's hanging in there. She's got a bug jacket though. <laughs> it helps. It's cheating. There's another good one, another pounder. Rocks are covered with mosquitoes. Good God. feet under there. The bugs can't play through that. There dude. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just gonna fish all night long. Uh, no way I can't sleep in this. Freaking. No one's gonna sleep. Oh I can't sleep with that noise. You wanna do it authentically. <laughs> Here we are. Courtney the master survivalist. <laughs> I have never claimed that. You've said it several times. You said you watched all my videos and you said you could do it better than me. No. <laughs> uh, Alright. This is silly. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good night. Good night. See you in the morning. Read some catfish. Have a good sleep. We won't. <laughs> <laughs>
That's breakfast. Well, sleepyhead still sleeping. It was a pretty rough night. Thankfully the mosquitoes died off probably three or four hours after we went to bed. I went up and I went fishing a little bit. Caught a couple more. Um, Cause I didn't want to lay around and get eaten by mosquitoes and being uncomfortable. But uh, as soon as it cooled off, which is probably three, 3 a.m. or something like that, the mosquitoes kind of died off too, which is nice. I would not recommend doing the survival challenge at all. I would still recommend doing like without the food. I think that's, uh, well, I mean, you could do this with, with a tarp in the fall or spring. A uh, guy said uh, on my Walmart challenge that, you know, had too much gear. You don't need a tent, you could just use a tarp. Not in Canada, you can't. <laughs> Let me tell you what, you're not going to want to do it more than once without a tent. So, especially not in uh, midsummer when the peak of mosquitoes and black flies, they get pretty ferocious at night. Uh, anytime the sun's not shining, the mosquitoes will come out and pepper you. So we're gonna wait for these uh, this fire to die down to coals. We'll throw our catfish on the coals. We'll have ourselves a survival breakfast. The skin's left on, I just gutted them. And all I need to do is wait for that um, skin to be ready to peel off and then we'll know that the fish is done and then we put some spice on it we'll be set to go you don't put the spice on um, on the skin because you're going to peel the skin off this is the most primitive way to cook it and uh, it was taught to me by Bob Hansler in our survival challenge in Texas so yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty cool pretty cool technique I'll uh, to get some water on the boil too I'm really thirsty I didn't drink enough yesterday between setting up and fishing, didn't really have time to boil water and the boil, the water we did boil, I wasn't sure if it actually boiled completely, so I didn't drink any of it. So my, my uh, pee this morning was pretty yellow. Yo, wake up. <laughs> Fish is ready. <laughs> At least you got to sleep in. Mm hmm. What have you been up to? <laughs> Everything. Oh. Fish is ready. I can go eat. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're the best. Wow. Car grilled catfish for breakfast. How's that for survival? Oh, pretty amazing. You have some warm water too. Oh my goodness, is that what that is? <laughs> yep. Warm, delicious water. You are amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, son. Tell everybody what it tastes like. It's hot. Mm, it's really good. Are you just saying that? No, it's good. Are Thank you, just, you. Are you just saying that? No, I would say it wasn't the best if it wasn't. Like the clams. Not the best. Catfish meat is the best. Look like that. That's perfectly cooked too. Well done. How long have you been up? 
<laughs> Enough to clean and cook catfish? Wow. Well, you want that, do you? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. And you wondered why we were fishing for catfish. <laughs> That's good. That's good? Mm -hmm. You happy we stayed up late? Should be the breakfast. Um, <laughs> I don't know how we would have lasted any longer in the tarp, so... We really couldn't have gone to bed any earlier. So catfish cooked this way might be turning into my most favorite fish meat. No way. Yeah, it might even be passing trout at this point. Wow. Trout's your all-time fave. You gotta put the wadobo spice on though, cook it on the coals. Mm. So we got a pile of fish to bring back to the family. We'll have a fish fry probably tomorrow, not today. That's enough fish for now. Oh, they'll love it. We got a pike and a bunch of catfish, which means we got to haul them out. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to pick away at this and I think that's it for now for the minimum gear survival fishing challenge yeah. with, with a girl. We did it. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Not under a tarp. <laughs> Not under a tarp. Not until the mosquitoes take off anyway. <laughs> Let's try our warm river water. Mmm. Tastes like river water. Mm. Warm river water. <laughs> Alright guys, till next time. You can subscribe or not. And uh No, you finished the line. You've uh, been watching? You don't yes. watch it. Hold on, hold on. You can subscribe. I don't care. There you go. Subscribe or not, I don't care. <laughs> Alright guys, next time. <laughs> Bye. I don't want to eat it. You don't have to eat it. <laughs> chew it. Put in your mouth and chew it for two seconds. <sighs> You're a jerk. Hey guys, we're doing a 24 hour survival overnight fishing challenge. I've got Courtney back. We're out here in the wilderness and we're surviving. Stick around. We'll be right. <laughs>